and they're not taking in any of the actual content that you are trying to, you know, that you're trying to spread that message. So one key point is when we're talking in a public forum like Sunderlist or even privately, make sure you have professionalism when you're trying to convey a message, right? Discourse or the conversations that we have is how we have change, but professionalism and professional discourse is key. Some of these, a couple examples, right? If we looked at these quotes, accusing people of being linked to terrorism, sexism, talking about women having hot flashes because of the change in thermal temperature, um, ableism, talking about men, people are mentally deranged and those kinds of accusations, you, know, you can laugh about them. They're not funny. They have serious repercussions and especially in a public space, it's completely inappropriate and, and it detracts the youth from wanting to be involved in Sunnah. So I'm not saying people have to agree with each other. Everybody can have disagreements. Disagreements are important to have productive conversations. But again, we have to make sure that we have productive discourse. We have productive conversations that are professional. We conduct ourselves in appropriate ways, especially in the public forums. So, and then I'm gonna talk about a difference between private and public spaces. So you should always be professional, but when you're in a private space with you and a couple of friends, it's okay to be a little bit more lax in how you talk. But when you're sending out an email to 500, 600 people, youth included, right? you want us all to be involved, you're sending emails to us, you have to maintain a professional manner when you talk. So we all have differing opinions on what is right for Cindy's, what is right for the world in general, but acting so immature and insulting each other's person, you're insulting on an individual basis, instead of having these productive conversations, not only leads to stagnation within Sana, but it deters youth from joining. Us five, you know, I'm going to be honest, like most of us have been forced into this by our parents. Now we're doing it, we enjoy it. But, you know, how many people I talk to, youth I've talked to in the past two days, hey, please attend our event that we threw yesterday. No, we don't want to attend. No, we're not coming. Why aren't you coming? Oh, we just don't want to. Youth are being deterred because they're seeing these things. They're seeing adults acting unprofessionally. They're seeing stagnation in Sana. And like Hassan talked about, we don't necessarily have the same Cindy identity that all of you do because we were born here. So we have to have some kind of motivation to come and attend Sana and continue Sana in the future. And if this is what we're seeing right now, why would we want to be a part of this? You know, why would the future generation want to be a part of this? I'm, thank you. I'm not done talking yet, but we'll be done in a second. Okay. So yeah, exactly. So we all have the same ultimate goal to create a more peaceful, educational, and equal world filled with great cities and great people. We want to be able to give back to Sindh back in Pakistan and develop that community. We want to have a Sindhi community within America that we can all rely on. We can rely on each other's, you know, have each other's backs when we need it. And we can meet once a year and actually have fun instead of talk about silly stuff like this. So let's make America our Sindh away from home. Let's work together instead of bash people for their pasts and their differences. This is a key moment. If youth are aware of this happening and we are the ones bringing up this issue and you all aren't willing to change, this organization will stay stagnant and will collapse. This is not a joke and it will never progress unless we all change. So let's, let's step back, let's drop this immaturity and this unprofessionalism and let's conduct ourselves with some professionalism and have productive conversations about how we can make Sid and Cindy's better. Hey. By the way, all of these people are available to be our next VP of Youth. <laughs> of Youth? Or Sana? Why not Sana as a whole? You are better than the them. The things are right now, I don't want to be Sana anything. I you have to that. change. I'll be happy to do something. You can change it. Okay, so let's, we'll have a segment for questions yeah, we'll afterwards. Question let us finish our presentation. Thank you. I'm going to, we'll bother you guys a little bit before we move on. Uncle Sathar, will you stand up, please? What did I do now? <laughs> I thanked you at the beginning, you weren't here. Oh, you did? Last yeah. year in my seminar, you didn't come at all. Oh. <laughs> Do you guys remember seeing him last year? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say like a Cindy quote to you. 
And then I want you to think about it, and I want you to translate it into English, and then explain to us youth what it means. Oh. Okay. Okay. You think I'm an English professor? Sir, as LLC, I need you to do this. Okay? <laughs> Rehana, what did you do to your daughter? <laughs> All right, back you go. Rehana can't control it anymore. <laughs> okay. Bhatti mand mande me, andhan me kano, ki rodo samano, midani kai maat. Sanna list. No, no, no. Bhatti mand mande me. Listen, y'all said me should be better than mine, okay? You just talk no, no, about it. What does it mean? Please tell us. <laughs> there are so many faults in the, you know, the person who has uh, not perfect, like limb. Mando means the limb. So. Andhan me karna. Yeah, so the, and the, <laughs> the one one side one eye guy in a blind bunch. The bald guys become a So first we're talking about limbs, then we're talking about blind people, then we're talking about bald people. Yeah. Everybody got quiet. Everybody came up. Why you made me go through this Because, sir, I just I need to know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been told that you guys are Sindhi people, Sindhi language is a big deal to you guys, and you can't translate four lines from it. I'm a little, like, scared right now that you guys have been running this organization all these years. <laughs> I'm just trying. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm just trying to put things together. Would you just gonna be chill? <laughs> okay, let's put it together. It just help me, man. English <laughs> 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 We need to understand this. We need to understand this. These are the examples. The imperfect. People. Okay, bottom line is when the idiots and stupid take over, then everybody goes. Oh, you were right, Sonalis. Okay. <laughs> I left you alone last year. I did not call on you. Mo video we need team. Mujo mukenge chadi dino last year. The hint sad. Okay. Taasa ke samjhayo. Mujo matlab chaye. Haran hi ke sikhenu. I feel like Shazad Andi, you can pretend that you have a daughter in law right now. I don't like my daughter, so I beat you. 
डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन नी हल सिंध में इन Think of an example. No. Seven Seven example. Example. Seven Seven example. Other people yeah. can be. Oh my God! No. So why not like? Pyar bhi ke kar sikhenu. Cindy, I heard of you. Sikhenu. Give her a hand. 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 I'm gonna start still sweating. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I was asked to speak on the future of Sina as I see it in the seminar, but as I'm doing the evaluation, I came back. I was like, no, nah, so fine. <laughs> so 